This is your sign to start now. If you have the desire to make this year one full of manifested plans, goals accomplished, and dreams come true, continue to watch. As much as it is good to hear sometimes, I think we all know that no desired result comes to us without some designated action. And sometimes the first step in starting is getting past the barriers within our own minds. So we can allow our higher self to take full reign and autonomy over our actions. In this video, I will break down possible things that could be keeping you away from making this year your most abundant one yet. So, let's get started. Right at the cusp, before I started making YouTube videos consistently and started taking this seriously, I was just like you watching video after video just like these, hoping that I could hear the perfect thing to motivate me into starting. That one day someone would say something that would stick and change me into starting. And to be honest, years prior to 2023, I always knew that I wanted to do YouTube. I always told myself that this was what I wanted. But what made this last year special or different from all of the others? I stopped looking outward for permission to thrive. I got tired of looking at videos on what to do. I got really antsy and excited about what I was capable of, and I just did it. I jumped off that ledge, and then I did it again, and again, and next thing you know, I was walking into something that I've always wanted to do, and I had the passion enough to be consistent. And honestly, what once felt like jumping off of a high cliff turned into something like jumping from the sidewalk to the street literally it's like i would look back and say like that was it this was it this was the thing that took me years to do wow and and i hope like after you do the thing that you've always been needing to do it feels like that for you and you just keep doing it more and more and then you start to perfect the way that you do it and you perfect the fall it's kind of like when you're at the pool and it's a hot summer day and you decide to jump into the pool first before you take a step in, you know, and you do it and then you do it again and then it becomes fun and then you start to do tricks. I don't know, you're making it fun and it feels free. You're not thinking about the fall anymore. You're thinking about ways you can make it better. You know, I hope uh, wind brushes over your fears and somehow you just fly into everything that you're meant to be this year truly um that's what i want for myself every year i want a better level a better time spent on doing the things that i'm meant to do i want this life to be doing what is truly my purpose. I've spent so many years wasting my time not in my purpose, just doing things that I could do, doing things that I was kind of good at. I want to do things that challenge me now. I want to do things that make me a better woman, make me a better person. And how can I do that if I continue to just do the same things that I've always done and wasting my potential and wasting my time being in places where I'm slowly but surely not fitting in anymore well i was never supposed to fit in but i was so used to keeping myself small i allowed myself to be there you know i think some of us are in a season where we're tired of being small there is going to be a time in your life where you're just going to be sick and tired of watching other people exist in the manifestations of the life and the lifestyle that you want for yourself and you're just gonna do it it's not even going to be a second thought. You're just going to slowly but surely step into who you've always been meant to be. You will stop feeling like an outsider to your manifestations and be so present that you act as if they're already here. To be present enough to take the small but necessary steps into bringing your manifestations closer to you. And if you are at that place or you are close to it, repeat after me and affirm, I am more than qualified to work for my dream life. I enjoy working towards my dreams. I have fun in the small doings that make me my higher self. I also wasn't afraid to start small. I'm going to keep it 100% real with you because I think this type of realness is going to be the very thing that kind of kicks you over in the way that it kind of kicked over for me. 
You know exactly what it is you need to be doing, but you're stopping yourself from doing it because you don't like the feeling of being small or seeming small. And a part of the ego is ashamed of how it will look or feel if you start from humble beginnings or start small and other people see. Or that you actually want to take the step to put yourself out there and no one sees and there's not this big premiere of everyone being excited about what you have to do or what you have to share. In this doing it and being small at first, because it feels so far away from your desired outcome, you kind of stop yourself from doing it altogether. You feel like, what's the point of it even being done if no one is even going to be around to see it? And that type of mindset is why you spent months and years at the starting line or at step number two and the consistency gets harder and harder. You're so worried about how it's going to look that you kind of psych yourself out and you end up not doing it at all. To that, I will say change your desired result even if it's for this temporary moment or season in time i had to stop wanting to be this super big influencer person because i didn't know how to cultivate that type of attention or that type of environment that type of audience what do i look like um being happy about a 500k subscription that I don't even know how to nurture by making a video consistently a week. I think so many times in our desire, in our dreams, often in the mind we skip steps. And in the skipping of steps, it keeps us from learning the lessons that we need to learn to be able to keep and manage that desired outcome in the future. If I don't know how to stay consistent with the small audience that I have now and nurture that, what am I going to do if it ever grows? If I'm so worried about having something large and mass, how do I even know how to keep that if I can't even maintain something small? And that's the way that I processed it, and that's the way that it kind of worked out for me. I had to start with the small steps. Sometimes my brain cannot process things in mass because I get so caught up in the weight of it all kind of shocks my system into this fear fight or flight and I just don't feel like doing anything and if you are someone like that I feel like the thing that brought me the most results or it got me out of that frame of mind was I changed my goals into short form goals into smaller goals I didn't make what I did small now when I started making videos I started small short form content little small videos and those were great but they didn't give me the result that I wanted to in the end if I knew that YouTube was something that I wanted to do why was I playing small with my actions in this way, if I knew I needed to be consistent at making longer form videos, I needed to start by making and editing a video in full. And once I started doing that a week, it just slowly became better, it became easier. I knew this was the lifestyle that I wanted, so I made that a priority to do it every single day or every single week. Um, and that minimal expectation that I set on myself Granted, it was more than I was doing before, but because it wasn't doing so much outside of everything in life that I needed to take care of in general, I was able to hold myself accountable and keep that consistent enough to see some type of growth. So, start small. Basically, what I'm saying is stick to the basics, and it's okay to be an underdog. Just know that the time that you're investing will give you a result down the line you just have to be patient and think about it as if you're just sowing seeds right now the next thing that i want to say is i had to get comfortable with the discomfort by now you notice the pattern everything that i'm saying sounds uncomfortable because it is and there is no way around it really we are human everyone has insecurities but the difference is 
How much will you allow your insecurity to stop you from reaching your desired outcome? I think it makes me really, really sad when I see people with insecurities, but they've made their insecurities more powerful than their mind. In a sense, they can only do things that satisfy or coddle their insecurities. They don't really step outside of those lines. And anything outside of that is just like something illegal or like something they just like will break down if they do and it's such a prison of the mind and I really don't want anyone to waste any more of their years coddling their insecurities because there's just a dead end there. There is no life when you dedicate so much of it to your insecurities and keeping yourself small. Like, it's just not a fulfilling way to live and we assume that we have all of this time to sit in our insecurities and watch life pass us by and really we don't know what life has in store for us or what's promised. So try to do as much as you can to really get to the root of those insecurities and push through because there's an entire life waiting for you outside of them. Sidebar. One of my insecurities are my eyes. I used to squint every day looking in the mirror when I was younger to make them appear smaller, I guess, or so they brought less attention to my face. When I started filming myself, I would squint and I looked so insane. And I just had to sit down with myself and say like, look, this is not working. Like this is who you are. There is no changing you. And if you can't embrace this version of yourself now, how can you expect an entire world of people to somehow embrace you too? So every time I filmed myself and I edited it, I was forced to look at it, forced to look at the things that made me feel so uncomfortable. I was forced to face my face. And now I don't, I really don't even care. Like, how can I show up and be of service and attempt to be this leader of my life if I had something so childish holding me back? So whatever the obstacle is that is in your way, actually do the work to see past it. And I don't want anything standing in your way this year. I know it's so easier said than done, but all it takes is like maybe a day of work of you maybe sitting in the mirror or you just recording yourself over and over and over again or you just doing the thing that you're actually afraid to do, which is probably making a video, doing this. That's what it was for me. And um, I just want you to get to that point. So hopefully this helps. Please repeat after me and affirm, I am free of insecurities. I feel so much lighter now that the shackles of my insecurities have left. Bottom line, I knew nothing would change if I didn't change. Every year would feel the same to me. I would get a good start of doing things consistently and following my dreams and everything felt great because I had the energy to do it, but after a while, life would happen. I would have more responsibilities in my day-to-day -day life and I would prioritize more the life that I was already in, the life that I knew, and the life that I really did not want outside of prioritizing the life of my future and what I didn't know and what I could not really see. And that's the easiest thing. When we don't know what the future holds, it's easy for us to kind of go back to everything that we knew. And to be honest, there was so much more that could be done. I started to get lazy and I started to get bored of my own laziness. I didn't want another year doing the same things that I was doing. And if the same actions or lack thereof that I did the years prior of the one before I started to become consistent, I already knew the outcome of what that year would bring me and I did not want it anymore. I want it more. And to be honest, with myself 100%, there was a lot more for me to do. I needed to stop being lazy. I was bored with being lazy. 
and not in a lazy as I didn't go to work and I didn't take care of my responsibilities because that's probably the most basic thing and bare minimum thing that I could have done. But I can't just sit around crying about the life that I wanted when I wasn't doing the work to bring it any closer to me. I knew the outcome of laziness far too well and it didn't align with the future that I wanted so I had to lay that part of me to rest and hope you do the same. But most importantly, pace yourself. When you are actually serious about change and you know yourself well enough to say, hey, these are the things that I want, but I'm not a robot. I can't overwhelm myself with doing all of these extra things because I'm going to burn myself out. That's what happened to me in all of the years prior where I had a great start, but I couldn't finish strong. This is where you start to ask the different questions about like, okay, how are my energy levels in the day and in, in the nighttime? I'm a night owl, so it's really easy for me to just kind of take care of everything that I need to do at night. For some people, they can take care of it in the morning or in the middle of the day, whatever it is. You just have to really sit yourself down and decide that the time that you used freely, you can dedicate it to something else. And that is just kind of what I am trying to do more and what I'm trying to focus on. And every week is not perfect, but every week somehow I try to get it done. And even days, every day is not perfect because life is still going on and life is still happening. But just like my job, I make sure that I show up to my job on time and I make sure that I prioritize that. Why can't I prioritize just one extra thing? that with time will change and grow like everything else in my life has. I needed to set another expectation for myself. I'm still young and honestly, it doesn't matter what your age is. You can dedicate your life to something else if you decide. Some of us get so stuck in everything that we've had that we just can't see the amount of time that we actually do have. And um, that's when it's the most unfortunate thing. And that's what I suffer from so much. I just assumed that I didn't have any time to do everything that I wanted to, but I did. I just didn't want to use that time wisely. When I was done from work, it was just easier for me to just watch a good show, watch and eat my food and just enjoy my videos, TikToking and doing whatever else to entertain me. But after a while, it would just make me sick because nothing would change in my life. And it's just not fair and hypocritical of me to set high expectations for the people in my life and my relationships and not set those same expectations for myself and who I wanted to be. Like, I knew who I am. I knew who I was. I didn't allow anyone to make mistakes. And I felt like if you needed to be in my life, if you needed to be someone close to me, you had to um, show up in ways that would give you that title and it's like how am I able to do that freely if I can't even set real expectations for myself like if I'm the first person to let myself down I can't get mad if someone else outside of me is letting me down too you know if you resonate at all please affirm with me my new ways will open new doors my new healthy habits will bring me closer to my goals my new healthy habits stick to me and are a part of my character I think that is all that I have today I hope that what I shared today is somehow of service to you, like the many videos that I watched and how they were of service to me. I hope what I am saying to you somehow kicks you into the next level in the next season of your life. I hope that you feel that what I'm saying is really coming from a genuine place because honestly, I feel you. I've been there. I was there. I kind of still am there, which is why videos like these are so important to me. So if this resonated with you, don't forget to like, comment, please stick around and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in my next one.